that I love bread. I mean, who doesn't love bread? It's so super delicious and fluffy with that golden exterior. It just never lets you down. Except maybe when it's gluten free. I'm sure everyone at some point in their lives has had some kind of disappointing gluten free food, gluten free dessert or gluten free bread. And that is why I wanted to show you today how to make this delicious fail proof gluten free bread. That's right, it's fail proof because it only takes five minutes to whip up. You just throw the super basic pantry ingredients together in a bowl and it doesn't require any yeast. You don't have to wait hours for it to rise. You don't need some crazy bread machine. It is so super simple and so deliciously fluffy. I guarantee you guys are gonna love it. You're not gonna believe how easy it is to make. So make sure you keep watching if you wanna know how to make it. So you'll just need a handful of ingredients for this super simple gluten-free bread recipe. So the base flour is this gorgeous almond flour. You can also use almond meal, but the texture will not be as nice and fluffy. Make sure you watch the video as well because I will give some nut-free substitutes. This is some tapioca flour, which is a great gluten-free flour, which will help bind it together. This is baking powder and some sea salt, ground flaxseed, so I'm using just the traditional, normal brown ground flaxseed, but it's best to use a golden flaxseed for the taste and texture is much better with it, but it'll still work great with the brown. So some oil, you can use coconut oil, and today I'm using this garlic infused olive oil. It's so beautiful. The flavor is delicious, and I know that I'm gonna mainly use my bread for savory recipes, so that's why I'm using that. A quarter cup of water plus two tablespoons, or instead of two tablespoons of water, you can use two tablespoons of maple syrup, but I don't want it sweet. I am just going to use plain water and also four eggs. Make sure they're free range and the large kind and a little teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, which will help react with the baking powder and make everything nice and fluffy. So let's get into this easy recipe. So first things first, my oven is on 175 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit and just grab a bowl or your food processor or a blender, whatever you like. I'm gonna use a food processor because it is gonna make it super fast. And the first thing we're gonna do is throw the almond flour in there. So like I said, you can use almond meal. It will just be a rougher texture and not as like light and fluffy. Now, if you are nut free, you can also use hemp seed or, or pumpkin seeds, AKA pepitas, and just grind them in the blender until they are a flour consistency, and that will work really well. So now for some tapioca flour, you can use, also use arrowroot flour or cornstarch. And that is a really great flour for making it more like the bread texture. I've got a teaspoon of baking powder and also some sea salt. I've got some ground flaxseed. So I did recommend to use golden flaxseed. And the reason for this is that it does make the bread texture, taste and color more like traditional bread. Whereas the brown ground flaxseed has a stronger flavor and it will make it darker in color, but it'll still work great and be delicious. So in there you go. I'm gonna quickly whiz that up. Now I've got my olive oil. Make sure you use really high quality extra virgin olive oil. And in there you go. If you're not dairy free, you could also use butter and that would be a really nice rich taste. But I really like the flavor of olive oil, especially this one, which is garlic infused and it is absolutely incredible. I've got my quarter cup plus two tablespoons of water. And just a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar to make everything rise. There we go. Apple cider vinegar is so good for you. I love having it first thing in the morning with hot water as well. And then finally, I've got four medium sized eggs, which are also left at room temperature. So if you don't wanna use eggs, you could also try using flax eggs or chia eggs. I haven't actually tried this. This would make it vegan as well. But if you do try it, let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear how yours turns out. Flax eggs are made just by soaking four tablespoons of ground flaxseed with double or triple the amount of water and then letting it soak until it's like a thick gelatinous <laughs> texture. And I'm just using eggs and then that's it. All you have to do is blend that up and grab your bread pan. So now I have got a small... 
So now I have got a small bread pan. It is four inches by eight inches. And I'm just gonna grease the bottom of it. You can use coconut oil, olive oil, whatever you like. I'm just gonna use my trusty olive oil. As you can tell, that is my favorite oil. I've got a little tip here for gluten-free baking. Just grease the bottom only, not the sides, because as it cooks in the oven, the bread will essentially grip the sides a lot easier if it's not greased. So that's why you just need to grease the bottom just like that. You, you can also line your loaf pan with baking paper, but I just try to save it on paper wherever possible. And I know that these silicon bread rolls from nourishing5.com will not let me down. They will be non-stick when baking, even when it's gluten-free. So all I have to do is pour our bread mixture into the pan. You can also add some extra flavor to the bread by mixing in about half a cup of nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is a beautiful vegan substitute for cheese. It's so good for you, it's full of B vitamins. You can also use coconut milk instead of the water and that will make it really nice and rich too. There's just so many things that you can do with this bread. It's just so delicious and versatile. You can't go wrong. I guarantee that even your friends who aren't gluten-free are gonna love this as well. Now for the topping, you can top it with some nuts, maybe some slivered almonds or some seeds like pumpkin seeds, or sunflower seeds. Super good for you, great dose of vitamin E. I am just gonna keep mine plain and simple today. Making sure to scrape out all of that gluten-free deliciousness. And then to level it out, I just tap it on the table like that so it's nice and flat and it's ready to go into the oven. So you bake it for about 35 to 40 minutes until it's nice and golden brown on top. So I have another tip for you with gluten-free baking. The best thing to do for gluten-free success is to grab yourself a digital thermometer. And towards the end of baking, you just check it by poking it in there and making sure that it's, it has an internal temperature of about 100 degrees Celsius. It's not totally necessary, but I guess there is nothing worse than taking your gluten-free bread because it's golden brown on top, letting it cool, cutting it open, only to realize the dough is raw. So if you have this, then I do recommend it will just set you up for recipe success. So I will see you soon. So as you can see, the bread has turned out perfectly fluffy and golden. So I'm just going to slice it up and show you some of my favorite toppings. Obviously, natural peanut butter, that's a no-brainer. Make sure you get the one that has no added oil or sugar. My favorite is crunchy. Tell me in the comments below whether you prefer crunchy or smooth. Another topping I like is this healthy mayo that's really good for your gut. It's made out of bone broth and turmeric and it's a great substitute for butter. I then top that with some sauerkraut, which is fermented cabbage, and it's full of probiotics, vitamins, fiber, and minerals, which is great for your digestion. So these are my three favorite sandwich toppings, and I hope you try them. So I was browsing TikTok last night, and I saw that Kylie Jenner's avocado toast with honey drizzled on top is trending. So I thought now would be the perfect time to try this viral trend and let you know my thoughts. I mean, I love avocado toast the way it is. I don't think it needs anything else but a little pinch of salt and pepper, but I'm always willing to try stuff. So we've got our avocado that went to private school over here. So I'm gonna spread that on top and it is just like perfectly creamy. Bit of salt and also some pepper. And now for some of this organic honey, which is absolutely beautiful. And a pretty little honey spoon for effect. And ooh, yes. Oh my God, it looks so good. But will that taste good? Let's have the question. So here is our Kylie Jenner toast. Cheers. I think she's onto something here because this is delicious. Like I did not think that the salt and the creaminess of the avocado really work with that beautiful caramelly sweetness of the honey, but this is delicious. You need to try this at home or you'll get FOMO. It's delicious. Camera is having trouble focusing on the deliciousness. 
So here you have my healthy paleo gluten-free bread. I really hope you try this recipe at home. It is so delicious and ridiculously easy. The fact that it only needs one bowl and you just throw all the ingredients together, you can just whip this up in literally five minutes. So you have no excuse not to make this and just look at this texture like would you believe that there is no grains no flour no sugar no dairy in this bread it's also just great on its own because it is quite high in protein which is great for your pre or post workout snack and keeping you fuller for longer and energized for the day so what i like to do with this bread is slice it and then wrap each piece individually in glad wrap and put it in the freezer and then i just defrost it and put it in the toaster whenever i need a quick healthy snack and it is so convenient. If you did like this recipe and you're gonna try it at home, which I hope that you are, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and also hit that subscribe button below if you wanna see more healthy recipes like this. Thanks for watching.